Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Yachtform with Google Sheets. First things first, we want to create ourselves an account at Yachtform or login to our existing account. Straight away, uh, once we are greeted by uh, Yachtform uh, workspace, we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integration. Straight away, you can see there are Google Sheets. So we click on Google Sheets, we add it to form. Now we can select the form, that's the only form that we have. We select it. And now you just authenticate the Google Sheets. You pick the account and you are basically in. We can also use third-party app for this type of uh, third-party app for this part of integration and I've decided to use automate.eo I will leave the link in the description underneath this video once we're at automate.eo let's go to integrations as well hover over integrations and go to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and see all categories once we're in here we want to start with yacht form or write down yacht form Now it's time for us to pick the opposite or the counterpart, which will be Google Sheets. Straight away, we are greeted with some pre-made integrations as popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with your form. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with Google Sheets. There are a couple of options for Google Sheets, so just pick one, the one that fits you. Now let's click on Try It Now button and we'll get redirected so we can log in or register to our automate.eo account so we can finish this integration. We can also use uh, I'm sorry, we can also use Zapier.com, which is basically a very similar useful app to automate.io. Once we create an account here, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create zap. Now we can pick the trigger by writing down the yacht form, trigger event. There's only one option as well. And all we have to do now is to log in to our account. We hit continue, continue, and then uh, we should load a form, but we can't do it at the moment because, yeah, some internal problem. Second action, I'm sorry, uh, will be at Google Sheets. As you can see, there's still a lot of options to pick from, but let's stick with the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to log into our Google Sheets account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.